Hey guys, welcome back to Wii Games. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, scenario general directions and also uh, what are the things to note to uh, while well, heading towards uh, B, to Auto B7 Giants. So in the, in the past episode, we have actually stopped at the... Um, we have stopped at Kyber Ruins. So in the next, uh, of course, we'll be moving on to Mount White Ragon. So this is going to be a very general guide and um, you can follow this step which I'm going to go through right now or there are ways to bypass this kind of general steps mainly is to yeah, get your friends your friends rep to help and of, of course using the mentor because they will they will most likely be able to clear all the scenarios and you can jump here and there if you like to as well so in general, so um, the next of course is to go into Mao White Ragon. Um, I'm doing just on this general because uh, I felt that scenarios are quite easy to clear uh, based on experience um, on my main account and of course on this alternate account. So the Mountain White Ragon um, is the next step that you want to proceed on and after which the next step will be to um, take a pause there and go back to your Garum Forest, which is here, and attempt on the hard mode um, to complete the Garum Forest hard mode, Mount Seas as well as Kyber Runes. Cause uh, Terlim Forest may be a bit hard to handle uh, at at the point where you have just completed your Mount Mount Right Ragon. So once you have done so with Garum Forest, Mount Seas, and as well as Kyber Runes. You can actually attempt to clear the B tree of giants, so that you can actually get the um, Bernard from the Challengers Award. So, um, of course, if you can't do that to clear B tree giants, you could. Um, I would suggest to plus your runes up to plus nine for slot two, four, and six, and one, three, five. Just keep it plus six. It will be good enough. So once you're done, so. Uh, you can actually proceed on to attempt uh, by at that level you should be able to continue to move on with the lane forest um, to clearing terrain for us uh, Hydini roads and go so on and so forth to um, all the way up to Faimon volcano because um, Terrain forest actually will drop the um, there's this I think slots one to six the three star magic blade rune as well as the um, you'll get Rainbow Mon from Hydini Rose as well. So, once you have done so, um, you can also, meanwhile, um, attempt to see if you can actually go on to B5 um, Giants. Um, so if you, you can actually check out my episode 4. So I took quite a longer run um, to get up to, to be able to auto B5 Giants, um, which I uh, the runes are not that great. You can actually check out on, on the episode 4. So only have, uh, the only decent rune I have is with um, Lapis and also Bella. The rest, um, the rest combination are like Shannon, Bernard and Konamiya. So all the remaining trees are, um, I just read, put in random runes that to get them the bonus stats from like the energy runes, the bonus HP stats. Uh, that's all. And it is still able to clear as well. And of course, my Lapis was 5-star five, five already by then. Um, yep, so that is for B5 Giants. You can check it out. I also have shown uh, showcased the runes as well. So you can take a rough note to see where you are at uh, at the point of time. So your aim will be to um, to go on to complete until 5-1 Volcano. And of course, if you can't clear it, just keep using your friend's rep. Um, get 5 um, use your mentor, just go in the channel and uh, be active there in the channels, just pick one channel and be active there and get those level 50 to assist you in the um, in the scenarios, ask them if they have slot to add you back, uh, to add you, the kind of thing. So uh, that will be, I would say, the most easiest way to uh, clear scenarios and of course, uh, in later on using them to um, maximize out on the experience point. So friends is very important. So that's one thing I want to emphasize on. Just keep um, be active on the channels and add them. Um, after that, from Aiden Forest all the way to Chiruku remains. 
um, that will not be very, um, I would say, uh, important. Um, you can clear them uh, step by step slowly, and of course, just clear them once at the normal mode will be enough until Jiruku remains. What I do is that I will use my friends' rep every day. I'll just use them, those that have the elemental, either elemental neutral or have the elemental advantage. I'll just use them to clear about uh, once, one stage per day, the kind of thing, so that you eventually by maybe about four or five days, you will be able to reach all the way to Chiruku Remains. And from there, you will be able to get all the, um, like the, um, the vampire, there's this vampire sets um, from Challenge. Uh, okay, my bad. So, um, those that you need to complete all away from from Aiden Forest all the way to Chiruku remains that will be more of just, uh, I mean, just take your time. It will not be that important. Uh, the main thing is, of course, to go on to uh, able to be uh, clear on this. So they get your uh, fast leveling strategy. You get your the main thing is get the vampire runes and the revenge runes. Um, so this will be able to be equipped to uh, lapis on that. So for to clear on this right, you they say they have a clear path normal. So do not get mixed up. So it's still under um, five month volcano. So when they say path, means that they see that the stage one that is one, one dot path. So that is path. So sometimes we get quite confused uh, when where to clear. I mean, there's some confusion. Some 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 people may have some confusion there. So use last piece to um to clear the normal mode. Um, uh, they, what did they say? They say that the. Yep, they say to clear with one of the monster. That one of the monster will definitely be Lapis, unless you, of course you pull a net five before that, and if you have level up. So otherwise, um, Lapis will definitely be the um, the guy to help you help you to clear on this challenge, and you want to aim to clear up to this. Yep. So to get the Vampire and Revenge runes. So these runes are definitely best ideal case for Lapis. So you can equip that until now. I'm still using it. Uh, probably until I will be able to get up to say maybe finish B10 Giants. Right. So uh, once you have done so, um, you will you will the next aim is to of course uh, aim to progress up to the next step, which is quite a huge milestone, which is to complete um, B7 Giants. Um, runes are very important because if you don't have uh, runes, uh, good runes that we've come that come with decent stats, you are unable to go go to progress on B seven that easily. Um, I've seen other guides as well, uh, like some of the guides that has been out there. Um, mons that uh, maybe they said uh, mentioned they have only need about four stars to actually reach up to B seven giants. Uh, I think it's, it's doable, but I think it's a bit hard because of the runes. Um, I have farmed, I think, almost close to, I mean, for one week, one week of um, runes, but I still don't get quite decent four star runes to replace the three star runes or maybe some flat stat runes that I have. So, so I think one of my suggestion will be um, to get like the the most the rest of the team up to five star i think that will be a so-called a, a boost in the stats in the stats itself so that you uh the compensate of the runes that you don't have uh, well at, at least on that so right now while uh, i'm able to do uh up to b6 um i think it's about 95 percent uh success rate so um, and of course is to replace all the runes because right now the runes that I have are quite I would say junk like it's like HP percent defense yeah and it's all three stars um, ideally we'll be looking for five stars runes like some of them are still quite shitty like flat attack kind of thing so but all these shitty runes are able to get me to clear up to B6 
uh, on that so you could actually slowly progress to see where you are at uh, on that itself so let me just show you um, on b6 so this is a team I use for Giants Keep. I'm still trying to maintain it uh, unawakened for Lapis and Bella to see how, how far I can get uh, without awakening, assuming I don't have the essence on that. So um, if you don't have Bella, uh, be sure to look check it out uh, on the Light uh, Elemental Hall of, Hall of Light uh, day where they will where there are potential um, drops uh, secret dungeon jobs will be opened by other players as well so keep a lookout for uh, like in Inugami so once once you are there just ask in the channel just say that you are looking for pieces can get at you in the kind of thing so that you have access to the dungeons and farm up to 40 pieces so that you can summon one the skill ups, uh, the skill ups will can be attained from either you getting a Garen Forest, which is the first map, uh, farming a hell mode because I think the hell modes drops of the chances of dropping the the Inugami are higher. Uh, of course, the other way, of course, if you can go on to Faimon, uh, that could be that as well. So right now, um, when you have successfully uh, completed B5, uh, Giants B5, all you need to do now is that to uh, try to get skill ups as, uh, as much as possible. Uh, Konami is very easy, you can get from shops, you can guide through maybe just normal uh, unknown scrolls. Uh, likewise for Shannon, the pixie as well. Um, Bernard and Inagami, you have to, uh, I would say farm, farm it, farm for it. Um, uh, through scenarios to hopefully get a drop from it. Uh, otherwise, um, just just maybe through mystical scroll kind of thing. So, why skill ups is important is because you want to reduce the cooldown. Uh, some of the skills are very important. Like for Bernard, it will be the first the third skill, which is to increase the attack bar of the whole team. Uh, make sure they have much more runs than what the bosses can do. You want to have take more turns kind of thing. So you need the speed buff. You need to increase the attack buff. Uh, the attack bar. Uh, Shannon, of course, you, you want to keep your defense buff and attack buff uh, uh, always active so that you will reduce the damage as well. And of course, maximizing your output. And Konamiya is does the refreshes because right now um, she does best at cleansing. Uh, I think a cleanse is a 3, three turn, three turn or 4 turn? 4 turn with cleanse? Can't remember. Yeah, okay. So um, this is the B6. So you can use use the same set as this team, uh, this team as well. <coughs> um, there's no uh, like fatal rune. Nope, I don't want. Alright, so. Yeah, so that is, you can actually use that team as well. And um, for Konamiya, the cleanse is, yeah, it's a 3 turn cooldown. So you will want to clear away all the uh, harmful effects like armor break or maybe dots um, so that you can survive throughout the whole um, the dungeons. Um, I have tested some, this is the same squad to B7, but I felt that. Um, because of the room quality, uh, it's not enough. So current, this is my current stats um, for Konamiya. Uh, Lapis, I have actually made them to all plus 12. Uh, I think it's the max I'm going to go for 4 star rune. And since I can't farm Vampire for now as well as for Revenge. Um, for Shannon, this is the stats. Uh, it's still work in progress. Um, Bernard. Yep should be speed hp hp ideally um this is the stats right now this is inogami just hp 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 yeah that's all for now right so this coming weekend uh it's gonna be a uh, free run removal so uh, be sure to get uh, farm a lot a lot of runes to make sure that by the time you can uh, capitalize on this opportunity to 
uh, shift your rune around uh, to get a better stats out of it. And so, so right now when you want to uh, just highlight again, so if you want to move on, once you have done with B5, you want to move on to B7, um, there are mainly um, three things to take note. Uh, first of course is to, uh, you can actually start dumping away all the three star runes. Uh, you only keep at least a four star and that comes with a minimal relative good uh, substats. Um, the main stats is important. Uh, no more flat stats is only on the uh, percentage. That's one. Uh, two is of course start looking for skill ups. Uh, skill ups your your monsters. Uh, make sure they are uh, uh, increase their efficiency. That's two. Uh, last but not least, of course, is to evolve them to five star if needed. Uh, these are all the core squad even up to Giants B10 and some could actually take you even to uh, long, long games as well, uh, end games like Bernard, uh, Bella and Konami. Uh. So you will not regret in evolving them. So these are three things to take note. And uh, that's all for today's video. Um, I'm just going to keep it uh, keep it short and actually it's not very short, it's just 16 minutes. Right, so um, uh, the next episode I will be um, help you guys understand about the runes and to know roughly what to keep and what and what not at this stage of time and understand how the runes work because that could be helpful uh, in the early, early games so that you you don't keep all the junk runes up in your uh, rune inventory as well. And be sure that uh, not to overgrow your account as well. Um, you because it's much more easier to manage. Uh, of course, something is fun. You can pull out a net five, a net four. But in general, um, these are the key mobs that has been already been there, tested, proven, and of course, many many times. And even now, they are actually giving out through the challenges. So these are the key mobs. Um, that will be your main focus. If you put a net five, I think that would be good. Uh, net four generally don't change the game much in the early games because you need to skill them up and of course getting the runes and they will not most likely they are not very helpful in terms for you to farm the dungeons in a quicker way right with that being said uh see you in the next episode uh on runes and till then right all thanks all for watching on this video and of course if you think that um, there are things that you want to ask about the um, summoners what on the early stage and you want to find out uh, anything that you need uh, just put it in the comment section and of course if you think it's helpful just give me a share like and I'll see you in the next video right thanks bye